What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the episode of Fish and Me. Your boy D Yang. Today I wanna accept another top water fishing challenge, okay? If you guys saw in the B-roll intro, the dope stuff, you know, the cool stuff. Yeah, I got I ordered some new top water lures, alright? Pretty cool. I'm really excited. Oh, the sun is sitting right on top of me. That's it's real hot. <laughs> okay, I keep saying that in my last three two videos. It's really hot, man. This dude right now it's like Maybe 85 to 90 degrees. It's about 3 o'clock, I'm going to say. It's almost 4, so I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit until it hits 4 o'clock. Then I'm going to go and do some topwater fishing, okay? Now, in my last video, I know you guys did suggest, you know, David, why, why are you using a $20 lure on a 15-pound fluorocarbon? That's because... I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to do a topwater challenge, but that, that was the point. That was the purpose of the challenge. I didn't think I was going to use a topwater on some fluorocarbon... Uh, line to fish top water, right? You guys saw what happened. Pike destroyed my top water. It was like boom, done. Twenty dollars gone, out the door. It's a little different. Okay, I'm more prepared. I bought some Power Pro, a braid line, right? Here it is, right here. Now I do have it on a Shimano Corrado. It's a, a 71, the XG, right? It's actually just one of my flip extra flipping stick, I um, mean flipping reel, and I got 30 pound braid on it. Usually I go at 40, but I think in the river it's not that bad. We don't have that big of a fish here i think i mean what happened last time but i think they're probably hold up to it you know i'm, I'm hitting the water this is it's real shallow me the chance of me catching a pike again would may probably be like one out of a hundred so going for the top water challenge with braid 30 pound braid and i just want to take this moment to talk to you guys about some top water techniques when to use it why you use it and uh what to use first off i want to talk about a spook okay now the time to throw a spook, in my opinion, is when it's early in the morning, where it's like crystal calm out on the lake or river, or late at night, okay? It's a bigger profile, it's where the big boys, big girls come out to play. They want a big meal, like a perch color, bluegill color. Honestly, in my opinion, top water colors don't really matter to me because you're it's more of like the sound the looks of it yeah that's pretty much it the sound the action of it and the looks of it so honestly you could throw any color me the main colors that i usually throw would be that bone color a white color or a black color now you can go ahead and find these like cool looking uh perch bluegill color that's cool too you know hey power to you if you like that stuff you make it work hey man it's proud of you but anyways let's keep going now my second choice would be something more finesse okay now when i say that i mean by body the body size the popping sound side okay a finesse popper is so deadly you guys uh the smaller balls in the popper itself the small spit of action okay sometimes they don't like that really loud stuff right after the big walker like this i'll throw something smaller more finesse, more uh, e uh, easy meal going, okay? So the benefits of throwing a small popper is that the pop is smaller, the bait fish is more, um, it's more accurate in size, okay? Meaning that they see a lot of these little guys surfacing around, so there's, they're used to that, they like that stuff. Try out the finesse popper during like, let's say nine to 12 o'clock, okay? Something more smaller, a finesse profile will help you catch those pressure fish, okay? Now I wanna talk to you guys about the real loud poppers, okay? Poppers that create a lot of motions, a lot of spitting water type stuff, and it just attracts a lot of fish, okay? Now these poppers are the poppers that I would use around weed lines, okay? If I can mark a weed line that's, let's just say, five to seven feet, and there's weeds that are real high up, disturb the weeds, disturb the river, the, the pockets, whatever you want to call it. Something that is louder, spits more water, cause a lot more action okay or these guy right here six cents splashback 70. so these lures like i said white bone color or something like shad like okay bluegill whatever the reason why these guys are so special is because they cause that really loud motion okay even if bass is just chilling there not really caring for anything to happen this kind of action will trigger a big bass to load up and destroy and devour that lure. So today we're out here at Grafton fishing the Milwaukee River, one of my favorite smallmouth fishing fishery. Okay, one of my favorite smallmouth fishery. There are a lot of big smallmouth here. You guys, I don't think people understand how awesome the Milwaukee River is. It delivers so much uh, content to me. There's salmon, there's steelheads, there's uh, 
largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, muskies, pike, there's everything you could think of in this river, okay, because it connects to Lake Michigan and, and other lakes too, I think. It is the source, okay, when you find these really good pockets, it's the source of the action, all right. So today I want to take on the top water challenge. It's really hot out, like I said, 85, 90, maybe even 90 plus degrees. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, we're just gonna have a good time because I'm ready to fish. I know you guys are too. I just wanna talk to you guys about what kind of popper I had I ordered from Tack Warehouse. So with that being said, hit the subscribe button, you guys. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome for watching my videos. Like, I'm not just saying that because I'm just saying it. I'm really saying it because I'm growing every day and I really appreciate the things that you guys do for me by watching my stuff, okay? Let's hope that we run into some big fish today with some poppers. It could be quality though, quality. I don't care, you guys. I just love fishing. I don't care about the size. I don't care about how many. I just enjoy being out here recording content for you guys. So stay tuned. And let's get some fishing. Alright, you guys, as I'm walking right now, there's a thousand bay fish flying around. It is insane. Wow, look at all these healthy algae blooming. That's crazy. That is so cool. All right guys, so I do apologize. The angle of the GoPro might be kind of like downward because I forgot my like extension where it sticks out a little bit more so you can watch it straight. So that's gonna kind of suck, but it's okay. We'll get some good footage for you guys. We'll find a way, you know. The goal is to catch small mouths off of every one of these bait that I just showed you guys in the video. That is the goal. There you go. That's a big end. That's a big small mouth, you guys. Jeez. Whoa, that thing's huge. Oh my gosh. That is a giant small mouth. First cast. Oh my goodness. That's whoa. That's a three pound smallie right there. Oh gosh. Dude, that thing's huge. Whoa, whoa. Dude, that's a giant smallie, you guys. Oh my goodness. Insane. Gonna fucking blow up. Look at that, you guys. All right, you guys. Catch and release on this giant. Jeez, man. We just start off my evening. Beautiful, big, smally. Check that out, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's for sure. I, th I think it's a three pound, man. It might just look small on a GoPro, but it has such a girth to it. It's huge. Golly, beautiful fish, you guys. All right, you guys, so catch and release, beautiful fish. Let's get it back in the water and uh, let's keep fishing. Oh, come back to me, eh? Cool, all right, see ya, dude. Good fight, man. Look at he or she go. Nice. Instead of throwing this this guy that I caught that real big small mouth small off of, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up to one of these six cents lure. Uh, let's go with the bone. Let's go with this bone color right here. Kind of a hurry, man. So it's going down. I got a far walk. I want to be left alone here. So it's, oh, I still got time. It's 514. So next lure is this six cents popper. All right, this is the junior. This is a bigger version, but this is the junior. Oh, they got some distance. There he goes. That's a big one. Jesus. That's a big smallie. That is a big smallie, you guys. Oh my gosh, thing's huge! Whoa, we got him go! Oh my gosh, do another three pounder! Back hook, back hook, back hook! Oh gosh, keep him calm, keep him calm! It's huge! It's fat as heck! Whoa, that is insane! Check that out, you guys! That is a giant smallie. No, no, actually, let's get a release in the main uh, channel so you don't have to struggle going back up. 
Jeez. Thing is huge. That is a beautiful fish, you guys. Oh, wrong way, dude. Wrong way. Wrong way. All right, there he or she go, man. Nice. Caught it off of this guy right here. Time for the new one. Another challenge, right? So let's go with the other color. Sure isn't quantity today, but man, the quality is there, you guys. That's what I want. Jeez. Y'all see that? It's insane. These little dudes, though. There he goes. <laughs> That's so cool. Popped off. Jeez. As I'm walking, I see that there's more current on this side of the river. It's real pushy, but it might be a smallmouth hanging around here. Might just be. So we get all the way back in there. There he goes. Whoa, what the heck? Dude. Oh gosh. That was so cool. Dude, it's a three pounder. All these things are quality fish. Oh gosh. Whoa. Thing's huge. Golly, look at that. That thing's a giant, yo. What a big smallmouth. Oh, oh gosh. It's insane. Quality fish. Look at that, you guys. Golly. Let me go get a picture real quick. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. Off of the six cents bait. Look at that. Two, three pounder for sure, man. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful smallmouth. Nothing but girths. Alright, let's go. Catch and release. You ready to go? There he or she go, man. See you, dude. Good fight. This is not a good spot. Like I said, I've never been over here, you guys. Never fished this spot before, I swear. It's crazy. Crazy fishing, man. This is insane. It's got to be the best time ever on the Milwaukee River. Let's go right by the tree. Let's see here. Whoa, dude, what the heck? <laughs> Jeez, that's a big fish. What the heck's going on? What is this? Whoa! Gosh! Came out of that tree! Oh, it's a two pounder! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! That is insane! <laughs> this is so hard! I'm just trying to come down with that. Jeez! Look how girthy he is. Oh my goodness. That is a nice two pounder. That is so hard. All right, put it back in water. You guys, no picture with this guy. Woo. Whoa, what the f <laughs> oh What? Oh my God, these fish are crazy. Oh, dude, that's insane. Whoa. Chill, chill, chill. You gotta be kidding me today. I think it's time we switch to a different topwater lure, eh? Just make it fair, make it fun. There he goes. Nice little guy, one pounder. Oh, gosh, hit the tree. Oh, dude, what the heck? Ugh. Uh, what is this? It's not a big smolly. Jeez. Dude, there's just giants hanging around here. Oh my gosh. There's some big bass. To me at least. Look at him go. Look at him. Oh my gosh. They're just hiding over this river here. Ugh. Chill, chill, chill. 
Oh my god, you just take my rod right away. Dude, it's huge. <laughs> what is going on today? Just pop right off. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. What a big smallie. Oh, this six cents lure is killing it. All right, catch and release, you guys. Whoa, there you go. It fell from the tree and he picked it up. Nice. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll take that. Oh, it popped off. It's okay. Fell from the tree and he slammed it, you guys. That was cool. Check out this calm spot. Okay, I'll take this spot. This quiet popper. There he goes. Little guy. Like I said, it's going to draw attention to the little ones. Back hook. Whoa. Dang, this thing is popping off. Oh gosh, that was a pretty nice one. He keeps going underwater. Makes it hard. Whoa! What the heck? Oh my gosh! Dude! This dude came out of nowhere! Oh no! He got away! He came out of nowhere! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Dude, that's crazy! Jeez! That was a giant too! These hooks are not pinning them down! Ah, there he goes! That's a nice fish! That's a nice fish! There you go, you guys check that out. Oh, back hook again. That's a nice fish. Back hook, back hook, back hook. Oh, it popped off. Wow, dude, this hook does not hold well. All right, man, that's the third fish that I lost. You're coming off, dude. All right, you guys, so I'm putting back on this uh, jackal here. The dual reel just kept popping off, so I'm not really digging it, man. I'm not too happy. I lost three fish already. Three good fish, too. So we're gonna go with this guy. There you go, that's a nice fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Dude, nothing but qualities over here, you guys. That's a big fish. Well, kind of. There you go, that's all hooks should be staying on. Look at that, you guys. That's a big fish. Chubby as heck. That's how hook should stay on, you guys. Woo! Go ahead. Catch your release, you guys. Finishing off with this uh, six cents spook here. So, let's finish it strong, finish it big, man. Big bait. See how this thing walks. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Dang. There it goes. That's a nice fish. That's a big smallmouth. Goodness. Oh my gosh. That is a big smallmouth, I think. Please stay on. Please stay on. I think it's a big smallmouth. Nope, just hooked him on his. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Whoa, whoa. Chill, dude, chill. I want to get hooked here. That's a decent smallmouth. Oh gosh, chill out buddy. I wanna get hooked here. There he goes. Nice fatty smallmouth. Off of the six cents walker there. Catch him release. Thanks for the fight dude.
One last cast. There it goes. Oh, popped off. Jeez, you guys saw that and you popped off. It's crazy. Oh, let's catch him. Whoa, there he goes. There he goes. Jeez. Just gonna horse him in, it's not that big. Finally. Pretty decent fish. Catch and release. Decent little guy. Ah, there you go. Oh, that was cool. Little guy. Oh my gosh. Spook catch a lot of little guys, eh? Oh, dude, chill out, man. I'm break my rod. Oh, that's why I hate spooks. Trouble hook spook stuff is crazy. All right, guys. I'm done. Gonna walk back to the car. Close it. See you guys back in the car. So that was a long way back to the car. Let me just make it short. I'm sweating. It was hot. Had a great time. Hopefully you guys learned a lot about top water. I mean, I did. <laughs> that was the best outing on the Milwaukee River. Hands down for me. So, again, they like the popper more. They didn't really uh, target the spook walking lure thingy. They, they didn't like the uh, the smaller profile either. You know, they prefer that really big, loud pop. Caught a lot of fish off of that. It was fun. Had a great time. I'm just waiting for this car to go past real quick. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I am doing a giveaway. I am doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers, okay? I'm going to pick one lucky winner. And yeah, man. Woo, it's hot. Again, thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.